How's it going? My name is Crossfix, and I'm here to talk to you about these gloves right here. These are the straight to hell throttle leather gloves, and I decided to talk about them a little bit because I know there's not a lot of information about these gloves. In fact, I'm pretty confident no one has talked about these gloves on YouTube. And because this company, Straight to Hell, is based here in Chicago, we have a wonderful um, display of these products at a building called the Belmont Army Navy Surplus Store. So that's what I went about two weeks ago in order to get these gloves. I'm wearing my Straight to Hell Commando bronze jacket here just to wear in comparison. But I wanted to try out this leather. I was thinking about getting another jacket, maybe a smaller size, and they talked about the Napa leather being really malleable, and the more you wear it, the more stressed out. So I decided to try these gloves out. I thought this was the most unique cut from Straight to Hell, so I decided to try these out and you know give it a try. These are the large. Again, these are called the throttle. And these were a little small for me, but I decided to get them anyway, and because, again, trying to test out the leather, and so over time, I think when I got them, I maybe tried to make a fist nearly 100 times. I did try to push them quite a bit. And they did start to move. Started to move. Great grammar. They did start to move. And I do feel like buying a smaller size in this Napa leather does allow for you to get a more firm fit. Uh, this zipper here, which is obviously the most iconic parts of it, is the zipper and this asymmetrical kind of swoop here, which allows you to show off any type of wrist drawer you, you would have. So this is a long jacket, but realistically, if I wasn't wearing a long, my jacket would be more like this, and so you'd be able to see my wrist jewelry. Uh, this slit does open up quite a bit, and for me, it I would say it's almost just a uh, fashion thing, because if you open it up this wide... It's kind of too big. Maybe if you had bigger hands, this is this would definitely fit. Um, I'm sure that it would, but for me, this is way, way too big. So I just keep it zipped all the time. I don't even unzip it to put it on. And it's un, it's unlined, so it's just the raw leather. And the cool thing about this, especially with this design, because of how this design is, it doesn't allow you to lock in in a more traditional way because you would think with this there would be like a strap around the wrist but mostly the lock point because it's so high on the thumb it's here and I would say right around here is where it's gripping onto your hand so this whole top part is more or less flapping off so if you wanted to add gloves under it it does suit it really well so obviously just you know regular knitted glove to put under this it does mold well to it and I found that it kind of makes if you're not a fan of the abnormal shape which I don't know why you would buy these if you weren't but if you wanted them to have a more traditional look you can go ahead and do that and you can see that it tapers right there and it's a lovely fit and it does with the glove inside it feel like more of a full fit I feel like it's a full fitted glove so I'm pretty confident these gloves were made with the idea of you having a glove on the inside in order to line it I do Think these gloves are really awesome and if this was something you're interested i hope this is something that helps all right take care